A sea of prayers for Sutherland Springs, the tiny Texas town, still trying to wake up from a horrible nightmare. And to add to it all, we've learned there were no shortages of red flags. Long before Devin Kelly walked into Sutherland Springs First Baptist Church, the former airman escaped from a mental health facility. That was in 2012. A police report warned that he was a danger to himself and others after he was caught sneaking firearms into Holloman Air Force Base in New Mexico. Now, a witness also told police that Kelly was attempting to carry out death threats on his commanders. Tonight, the faith is not broken in Texas. Kevin Reese is in Sutherland Springs. And Kevin, there were more prayers tonight. Yes, on this third night after the shooting, the people here in Sutherland Springs and a town next door gathered for the third vigil for the third night in a row. They say they can't understand this. Who could? But they're relying on their faith to get through it. And tonight, those grieving and those lucky to survive explain why. Good evening, everybody. If y'all please rise and join us. This is Lavernia, Texas, the town next door. Tonight, their turn to pray and ask God why. When things are beyond your comprehension. Lord, what do I say? I'm surviving the best I can. Questions moms like Charlene Yule are asking more than anyone. Her 16 year old daughter Haley Kruger is among the 26 dead. Charlene dropped her daughter off at church on Sunday morning. It's horrible. It's like a bad dream I can't wake up from. I just want to see her walk through the door. It's so horrible the way it happened. It's just not fair. What do, what do you say? You can't, there are no words. All she can do is hug them through it. Carol Horton knows it's not fair, but she's one of the few able to celebrate. Her 73-year-old mom, Farida Brown, survived, shot in the leg four times. She played dead until the gunman walked away. To say I'm still breathing, I'm still alive, is amazing to me. It's amazing her faith in God and how she feels that I, I'm alive. I get to say I'm alive. As for understanding what happened here and how it was possible in God's house of all places, she said this. And I believe that God has a reason for what he does. I don't understand the reason. I don't blame him. I just don't understand it. I don't, I, I'll never understand it. I'm not prepared for any of this. No parent ever is. But even Charlene Yule in all this madness, in all this loss, says she has not lost her faith either. No, because I know God has a plan. And then there's the last thing her daughter told her when she said goodbye. She said, I love you. Yes, and that she would see me later. Seeing you later, that's the only hope a town torn apart can cling to now. We have to get over being angry. We have to get over not understanding. We have to say, Lord God, I give this to you because my mind can't get around it. Lord, my mind will not get around it. Kevin Reese, Channel 8 News. Pure nightmare.